In this small but significant ceremony yesterday, the handing over of an ambulance and water tanks from the district's administration to the Robao Town Authority aims to beef up its public services in the town. Such gatherings are few and far between over the years in this volcano town. And although it represented a hint of political will, Rabaul MP Dr. Alan Marat, who is also a member of the opposition, has cautioned his people to take heed of the PNG's economic downturn that has set in, as districts will expect to see a plunge in basic service delivery in the coming months. Uh, money is scarce now. Um, uh, I have seen our economy under, under pressure. Um, uh, pressure from uh, low commodity prices. It is of common knowledge that Rabaul and its nearby areas won't be brought back to its glory days, but in a piecemeal approach, its district government heads are putting an effort to pull together its people and provide them with the services they need. And it is to be used to cut sick people. Sick people. Sick people. No one else, but just sick people. About 5,000 Rabaul people, including people from other ethnic groups, live within the town area and many more occupy the outer fringes of the town and the villages. The remnants of the 1994 volcano eruption are still here and life is as normal but development here has been long and slow. Plenty of old men are living just at the brink of below poverty line. Many chose not to come back after the eruption, except for business houses and public servants who are keeping the district's basic services alive. While the district is seeing some changes, at least its ultimate aim is to keep its public service machinery alive and to continue providing services to its people and others who have chose to live here. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.